Good day. I am um, Dr. Agodin Olaide. I'll be presenting this article titled Delay Between Breast Cancer Detection and Arrival Specialist Clinics, a preliminary evaluation of Mode Center Survey in Nigeria. Um, I'm a student of Texila American University, and I'm also a surgeon at the University of Lawrence Teaching Hospital. Um, this research is funded by African Research Group for Oncology, that's HAGO. Um, there is no um, conflict of interest that I declare. Um, the, you can see the authors and the presenter. Um, the other authors are, are shown. Now, um, breast cancer is the most common malignancy among females in Nigeria and is a major cause of death among females. And um, there has been efforts to um, try to reduce this by raising awareness amongst females in Nigeria, generally amongst the populace. But what we have noticed is that the awareness level is rising, but the um, rate of late presentation is not coming down. What we expect is that as the awareness rises, the rate of um, late presentation should drop and then mortality should drop. But this is not happening in Nigeria. This is a paradox. What we have is that awareness tends to is rising at the same time, the patient continue to come late. Um, and what has been noted is that awareness strictly may not be the main problem. Other authors um, that I've seen that found this include the Akambi et al. in southwestern Nigeria. They've also found that awareness is high despite um, the high um, rate of um, lip presentation. So because of this, we decided to, um, the effect of this um, um, situation is that if the awareness is high and the patients still continue to come late, what happens is that the outcome, outcome of treatment still remains poor. And um, the treatment is expensive when the patients come late. They, uh, they have to be exposed to mutilating um, surgeries and this causes high mo mobility and high mortality. Also, because they come late, this reduces their chance of survival. So we decided to find out that what find out what is still causing this high rate of late presentation despite increasing awareness. And um, we wanted to know what is prolonging the journey of the patient to the hospital, to the specialist after detecting the alarms. We wanted to know who they talk to, who they consult, when they consult the people they consult and um, what is keeping them from, from getting to the specialist early. Now, if we're able to find this, then we'll know what, part, what phase of the journey to target um, in the um, subsequent campaigns and um, health talks. We will know also who to talk to, and we'll know what slogans to use in, this health, um, in the health talks. So that will be, that's the relevance of this study. If you can find out what is still causing the delay, then we can find a way of addressing the bottlenecks that is still causing the delay in presentation despite increasing awareness. So we decided to undertake um, a multi-center study survey, which included 10 centers in southwestern and north central Nigeria. The study was funded by African Research Group for Oncology. Um, it was a semi-structured questionnaire-based study. Face-to-face -face interview was um, well, we had face-to-face -face interview with the, with the patients, and the patient subjects were newly diagnosed breast cancer patients. In the original study, we, we, um, the sample size was supposed to be 384 respondents to answer the questions. Uh, based on, we wanted to, dis we, we hypothesized uh, that 80% of patients um, got to the first orthodox personnel within two months, or when the alarms were less than um, 5 cm, 5 centimeters. Um, but this report I'm presenting now is just a preliminary report of the first 100 um, patients that responded to the questionnaire. Um, the in information we requested were the patient's demography. We wanted to know the chronology of events uh, relating to their detection, when they detected the lumps, who did they talk to first, who did they talk to second, how, when they got to the first orthodox personnel, was it a nurse? Was it a doctor? Did they come to the hospital first or did they go to um, 
um, traditionalist first, or did they visit a, um, a religious leader, uh, spiritualist first? Um, the exclusion criteria from this study was language by mental incapacitation and recurring lumps. So patients that have been to the hospital before and have a recurrence and not, were not included in the, in the study. Um, the preliminary report showed that um, it's one percent of the patients were aware of breast cancer even before detecting their lumps. So this again confirms or reiterates the fact that many patients, many people are aware of breast cancer even before they have breast cancer. So again, this shows that the awareness is high. A, a review that was done by Agodine et al. in 2016 also showed that the rate of awareness of breast cancer in, in Nigeria was around 80%. So this actually um, is in tandem with what we have already. And the centers that are involved is as shown on, on, the, on the slide. Now, the age range of presentation was between 26 and 80 years. Um, there were two peaks of age presentation between 30 and um, 40, and then between for, I mean, and then between 40 and 60 years of, of age. Now, regarding who, do, who they talked to first when they found their lumps, we found that that majority of them talked to their husbands first. Now, this is um, an eye opener, is an in, is a new insight into what is happening because um, majority of studies that have been conducted in Nigeria and in most developing centers have not actually targeted meals. They have actually, I mean, neglected the, the meals in the, in the campaign. We only came across two studies that, tend, that attempted to target meals. That was studied by um, Adeoti et al. in Nigeria that, were, that wanted to know the role of men in detecting their wives or their spouses' breast lumps. And the second um, um, report that we found was the um, report by Oguntola et al. that um, wanted to know the view of people about prophylactic cancer, I mean, prophylactic mastectomy. Uh, so apart from that, uh, studies targeting males was very rare uh, in, in Nigeria. And so this tells us that we should consider targeting males also in our campaigns. Now, what advice were they given by the first person they talked to? Majority of the first persons they talked to gave them the right advice to go to the hospital, to go for screening, or to go for some form of testing. But um, about a third of patients give them, give them wrong advice to, to, I mean, to go to special leaders, to fast and pray over it, to use antibiotics, to use hot formants, and this um, delayed um, those patients. But the good news here is that um, majority of the patients took the advice that was given to them by the first person. So which means that if you can identify who they talk to and who gives them the advice, then you can work on those people and then females can make better judgment when they find lumps in their, in their breasts because once people give them the advice, they take to it. And so that is good because the majority of them answered. I mean, they took to the advice within two weeks. Now, majority of, of the patients that, um, that, that responded, that's the only patient that responded, majority of them, 95 of them, actually came first to the hospital. They did not go to traditionalists or spiritual leaders first. That is also good. And majority of them actually saw a general practitioner first. And general practitioner did the correct thing majority of the time. This is good information that we are getting here. It's good, um, it's encouraging result we are getting. But um, about a third of, 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 of um, the, the personnel still misled the patient, maybe give them antibiotics and told them to go home and wait and all that. And that delayed their uh, presentation. Now, regarding the timing from detection of the alarm to going to the um, first, pers uh, first person. And majority of the, 60 percent of them actually told somebody within one week of, get, of finding the lump. And um, about 80 percent of them told somebody within four weeks of finding their lumps. Now, after telling the first person, only 40% of them told when to orthodox personnel, maybe a nurse or a doctor within two weeks. So, which means that the, the people that, and the population that actually went to to seek medical attention dropped by 20%. Mm -hmm. Now, regarding the time it took them to get to the specialist, even more patients, very few of them actually got to the specialist within, um, within, um, 
within two weeks of excuse me mr the suleiman the um the sorry um, for okay okay so the change in size of the lump um we also noticed that majority of them span the lump early but there was a change the 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 delayed for long before they got to the hospital and so um that um reduced the number but that got to the hospital um early in conclusion we conclude that majority of patients actually uh, found their lungs relatively early but they delayed uh, in getting to the specialist or hospital and the delay was between the first um, personnel they visited and the specialist um clinic what we recommend is that attention to be to uh, we, we probably need to change the slogan from late presentation to late presentation to a specialist because if we talk about late presentation it means that they are not coming to um, an orthodox personnel early but if we talk about late presentation to a specialist it means they are being held back after seeing the first um, orthodox personnel so this is um what we recommend and the uh, subsequent campaigns um, should target that. Thank you um, so much, Mr. Suleiman, for a wonderful Thank presentation. You.